Hello and welcome back to the Knots Counter Challenge episode 20. And as you can see, we are in Division 1. And we had some budget money to spend as well. which is, And we still got some left, which is even an added bonus. We released some players during the summer. Yeats is finally gone. Eordo, Jan we finally got rid of. Never without even playing a game. Johan Rutty Smith, I think he was in the under 23s or something like that. And Montel Gibson, who wasn't happy, he wanted game time. I think he only played in the first team just to cover, and he got a bit mardy after that. So he requested a transfer, so we released him as well. So, on to the players we brought in. First up is Rory Donnelly. We bought him for 20 grand. We actually paid some money for people, which is really exciting. It's a striker, no caps as yet for Northern Ireland. But I thought he he could do with um, with bolstering up the a forward line since we are going three at the top now. With our few strikers that we have got, three's not enough. So I thought I'd add a few more in. He's played uh, quite solidly for Gillingham in, in League Division One, which is what we we were after. Some somebody with experience, as as you can see, his rating's not been brilliant, but he has been scoring as well. So. As you can see, he's scoring one in just over th every three games. So I'm more than happy with that to take him, even if it is just a, a backup. Next up is John Guthrie from Crew. Our most expensive player to date. 82 grand could be going up to 105. And he's a defender. Again, we wanted somebody at the back because we had a few low knees and they've actually gone as well, gone back. So we are a bit thin on the ground there as well. Overall stats aren't too bad. He's valued now 130, which can we turn out counter would do that? Who knows? Next up is Mark Gillespie. Again, 57,000 going up to about 80 with add-ons. Again, a goalkeeper. He's going to be our first choice goalkeeper for this season. Again, everything that you need from a goalkeeper is in the teens. Where, I, where I'd rather see it. Agility, commanding the area, 13, brilliant. And as you can see, his pick of the bunch out of the three of them that we have got. Scott Loach, can't decide whether he wants a new contract or not. Next up is Robbie Patton from Cardiff. We got him on a free in midfielder this time. We wanted to bolster up that midfield. Yes, we have got wingers, but the natural positions are out on the wing. Like the uh, Rhino, he'd rather play out on the wing, not too comfortable in midfield. And I thought he could bolster up uh, as a backup to uh, O'Connor or even play alongside O'Connor, Lesniak, who had a great season last year. But again, he'd probably end up being a first choice. Next up, Rob Dickey. It was on loan. We have actually physically got him now. As a 22-year-old, I couldn't say no. He played absolutely outstanding last season for us. As you can see, a 7.22 rating and 7.08 before that. So almost ever present for last season. Next up, we bought Sven van de Kirkhoff, Dutch player. Again, central defender. And he could play alongside either Dickey Duffy, I don't know whether we've still got or not. I think so. Uh, De Graca. Again, to bolster that defence up. Because um, we are going to need him this year. As we're going to fight to stay in this division. I reckon a, div a year or two in this division and we can start fighting. Start finding our feet and fighting for promotion playoffs. Unless some miraculous miracle happens and we're in there the first, first season. Which will be great. So as you can see, depth and squad now isn't too bad still not liking the left or right a bit low in the ground but again people like Guthrie can play there Dickie can go on the right Grant is probably not the natural positions midfield I'm more than happy with I think we've got enough quality in there we are scouting for another forward like I said we're playing three at the top now so the more chance of injury is going to happen. So, we had a few friendlies. And as you can see, it's been it's been mixed. Um, while people are finding their feet. 
First game we beat Maidstone 5 3 as expected. Sam Byrne with a hat trick. And Adam Campbell with two. And after that, we kind of rested them a little bit. We had rotated the side a bit just to give everybody a rest. Everybody was tired and not match fit. Uh, Jermaine Hilton went on a goal scoring spree for two games. And Lesnick got one. So we had a loss, a draw, and then a win as well to round off the. Um, pre-season as you can see from our squad at the moment we are slightly thin on the ground again starting off the season which isn't ideal few injuries uh, Wilbraham's injured I think he's only out for a few for three weeks the Rhino is going to be out for a, a week and Hartley's out for a, a couple of weeks as well Kirsten Thompson's suspended following the sending off last season um, Kirkhoff, he's gone and got himself injured and he'll be out for at least a month been trying to get rid of John For Jonathan Forte he's not having it he is probably our most expensive player at the minute, tell a lie there's a few of them are quite expensive now O'Connor's on 2.5 well 2.2, .2. Campbell's 2.5 which it doesn't surprise me, he's, he's one of our better players Forte we're still trying to get rid of, he's 32 years old he doesn't want to shift He's gone till next season, which I reckon we're just going to end up releasing him on a free anyway when his contract runs out. Hewitt, I'm still on the fence about. He comes in, fills in quite well. Again, quite expensive, considering we don't hardly use him. So today we're going to bring you Port Vale, the first game of the season. And this is the side we're going to go with. At the back we have Loach, which we're not going to have anymore because we're going to have Gillespie. Loach, sorry my friend. So at the back we have new signing Gillespie had making his league debut for us. With Dixon, Guthrie, Dickey and O'Neill. In midfield we're going to start off with the old faithful Lesniak, Connor and Whitfield. And up front we're going to have Campbell and Reed which they'll be playing for the first time for a while and we're going to bring in Donnelly we're going to carry on with the same sort of formation as last season it worked for us, it might not work for us this season with it being a level up but we shall see right, Paul Vettel are coming quite attacking the 4-2-3-1 we're going to still stay narrow 4-3-3 I said last season I'm going to try and get rid of Mark Crossley but to be honest there wasn't anybody really that was worth looking at. So we go tactical. That'll do nicely. I think we should try and encourage the team. Nice words. Good look out there today. Okay. A bit of faith. That's better. It's amazing what a bit of faith does in the side. Right, and so we shall kick off. The ground looks fuller than normal. <coughs> it's a nice smooth pitch. Right, we kick off right to left. Guthrie's first touch into Lesniak. I'm hoping we don't humiliate ourselves in this league. It was quite unusual to win the league in the second season, I must admit. But they did quite play quite well, found a good formation that worked. Right, Kelly has it for Port Vale. Inside to Forrester, to Furley, back to Kelly. Good interception by O'Neill. Out to Reed. Campbell's on his way, he was. Donnelly, back into Campbell to Reed. Finished start. He's, he started his league scoring already. Brilliant counter attack that. Absolutely brilliant. The front three working quite well there. Donnelly into Campbell who shows his awareness by passing it straight on to Reed. So great shot into the corner. Reed has it back to O'Neill. O'Neill on the right hand side, inside to Lesniak. Lesniak runs with it. And again over to Connor, over hits it. Goalkeepers, Gillespie, pick it up. Shh, don't do that. Okay, what are you going to do with it? Drop it on the floor and kick it, apparently. 
scored a header and again Lesniak inside to Dickinson Dickinson runs with it passes over to Donnelly and he passes it right back to Guthrie great composure there Lesniak great ball into Donnelly is he going to whip it in oh that's a good cross or was it a shot half an hour gone we're still leading which is uh, which is nice Reed has it O'Neill come on ball in O'Connor yes this is absolutely unreal it's a great start to Division 1 O'Connor again same corner looks like that's where the um, goalkeeper's weakest is his right hand side right half time this is absolutely brilliant let the boys go out there and clear their minds we don't need to address anything at this stage I'm going to go happy where things are going keep it up and they all look delighted let's start that second half Port Vale kick off this time play nicely along the back we have a corner Whitfield to whip it in or not Reed back out to Whitfield Whitfield cross an own goal what a header Street with an own goal well I don't know what he was thinking but who cares that's a great header that is Whitfield whips it in and well I think he tried to duck it away did it hit his head well it hit some part of his upper body Campbell caught offside we're coming up to an hour played we'll be looking to make a few changes soon while we're still leading in fact we'll do that now time's starting to run up we'll go after this corner it's great ball in Whitfield has it again you're going to put it back in outside to Dickey. Dickey has it you're going to pass it inside to Lesniak no Port Vale counter they're coming forward overlapping oh that's a good catch by Gillespie it's well taken take your time right we'll make a few changes now we're going to bring in Patton have a bit of composure and we'll um, Take Lesniak off for now. We'll bring Sam Byrne in for one of these guys up here. Donnelly can come off for a bit. You've had your debut. We'll leave that for now and we'll look to bring Hilton in as well, hopefully. Let's make these couple of changes. Soon that's a great challenge by O'Neill. There's another tackle in there somewhere. Oh, that's unlucky. Attendance just shy of 8,000. Last 10 minutes. Let's make that last bit of change. Uh, here shall we bring in. Let's bring... Okay, Alex Reed is just a bit short. We'll bring Hilton in there. And away we go again. 10 minutes to go. Let's see Hilton give him 10 minutes, see what he can do. I wasn't sure about Hilton at first, but he's played quite well in the uh, friendlies. And if you can, if all our forwards start scoring, I don't care what happens, to be honest. I don't mind hanging on to him. If this could, this could be a good solid forward that we have. Go on, make it for Hilton. Great steal. And Bernie's just come on. Five minutes he's only been on the field and he scores. It's a great goal and a great steal by Hilton or O'Neill. To be honest, he nearly messed that up, hitting it back into the middle of the uh, pitch. Again, is there another goal in there? Burn, where are you going to go? Back out to Whitfield. Whitfield crosses it back in. No. That is a good, solid win. As Mark Crossley also states, we'll congratulate the team. Why not? And that's how we've started life in Division 1. That is a cracking result. Absolutely cracking. Notts County demolished Port Vale in League Division 1 encounter. Guthrie makes debut. Press conference is about to begin. Notice you send a number of young players. Is this conscious effort the part to build for the future? Of course it is. 
Say that particular result was on the cards would be an exaggeration. Just how pleased are you with the outcome? Absolutely superb with the win. Everyone enjoyed Michael O'Connor's goal. A play shot, bottom corner, silence the fans. Must have been fantastic to see one of your players score like that. How did you rate it? Can't think of anything better. And do you think Alex Reid's early goal is important? And early goal is always a bonus. Did you get on well with John Coleman? I don't know him, but respect him. That'll do. The league table looks like this. Wow, look at that. Northampton, Bolton, 5-5. Five, five. Peterborough, 6-4. What sort of division have you got into here? Goals are plenty here. Burton, 5-0. 10 goals there, 10 goals there. Us with a 4. It's 3-3 three, three at the bottom as well. This could be one hell of a season. And as you can see from the table, the first one, it's the first game. We're second. Which is good. Right, we'll play a few games and we'll come back to the next uh, League One game at home to Gillingham and possibly the Czech Trade Trophy as well, first game in that group. Who we have got. So we have Doncaster, Mansfield, Musburgh under 23s. I'd like to say this will be an easy group to go through, but the under 23s seem to be quite solid for any team really. So Gillingham and Doncaster it is, both home games. If you like the video please pop a like on there, if you want to see more please subscribe and uh, thank you very much for watching.